Welcome to Papa Junk Shop. Well, a lot of you watched my other video where I put up a solar panel rack. I'm still gathering parts and pieces to get that activated. Um, I have some hooked up temporary. Um, and I built a second rack that's holding my older existing ones that is still temporary hooked too. But I got some goodies for my uh, new hybrid inverter when I get one. Um, I'm thinking of the LV6548 or something similar. I'm going to go 48 volts and 5 or 6,000 watts just because everything is working so well that I decided to go ahead and expand things. So I had to get a new circuit breaker for my box because uh, the new one will have more going out so picked up one of those and that number four wire I'm gonna need some uh, ring terminals so I got those I used all the other ones on my battery box build and we're gonna need some disconnects for the Solar inside my existing ones are only good for what 24 volts or so. So I found these and decided to give these a shot. I had to wait for them to come from China. Uh, supposed to be solar disconnects. So it looks like we got some blanks, some glands, tape, mounting hardware, and this is the disconnect, thousand volter. Pretty compact. So I got two of those. And these. Now these weren't review items or anything. I paid hard-earned money for these. <laughs> so I'm not promoting anything. This is just what I could afford and what I picked. And I was going to make my own, but by the time I bought all the components, I could buy one pre-built. So. This is going to be for out at the solar array. Fuses, disconnects, and surge protection. So we got some MC4 connectors, a tool, some mounting hardware. And let's see, it's supposed to be a Weatherproof box and sun and moisture resistant and all that stuff. It's uh, two strings, one output. Uh, maximum current output 32 amps. Uh, 500 volt. I'm only going to be running around 200, so we should be good. So there's a the ground wire. So we got the fuses. I think they're supposed to be 15s. I'm not sure. Yep, 15 amp. And a 32 amp. 
if I uh, pick the one that I think I'm gonna, it suggested 30 amp, so 32 is as close as I could get. And this is the uh, surge protector. So let's uh, take a look at the inside. There's one that you don't quite get all the way. Okay, so we got the plus in, minus in, fuse for each side, plus and minus. And then they go into the breaker, and the breaker is paralleled with the surge protector. So, let's take one of them out and look. Now they're not loose. I guarantee you that. That's a good, that's a good sign. Oh, well, they do have ferrules on. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but they have ferrules on. So. I think this is a pretty decent box. And this would be for the ground and this is the out going down to the uh, solar controller. So I got two of these because I'm going to have uh, Two strings of two, I guess you would say. So I'll take you out and show you my temporary stuff and my new uh, new rack I built, which is very similar to the other one. So meet you outside. Okay, there's the rack. You seen the video on the first rack? I didn't make a video on the second rack because it's very similar to the first. But it's just a single row and a little bit lighter duty. Instead of 2x6s, it's 2x4s. Um, right now it's in the summer solstice position, I guess, because it, it's close enough. And uh, it'll stay there for a month or so. So, and these braces, you can see I have... Uh, five settings. This would be winter. And then I've got three settings for in between. And like I say, there's only, what, four panels hooked up here temporary. This is where those two new um, boxes are going to go. Probably right here in the middle. Like I say, all this stuff is temporary. My grounds are all just temporary but all the panels are grounded this is the new rack here those are singles those are my uh, old existing ones I had eight of those that holds ten so I got two of the ones that match the ones that are on the new panel and like I say these wires are all dangling yet because I don't have it permanently installed I just wanted to get it back up and running and I'm using my old boxes for these because these are just going to be on a 24 volt system for the garage. So, just thought I'd give you guys a look, see at what I've been up to. So, thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and share. Subscribe if you haven't, and as I go along, I'll keep you updated. See you next time.